Soups and stews are a great way to feed a lot of people all at once. Or if you want to make a batch of something and eat it for meals throughout the course of a week. My go-to is pozole verde. It's a bright and tangy Mexican stew made with green chili and tomatillos and chicken and of course hominy. It's perfect, it's so delicious, it's great to eat just about any time of the year. Let's jump right in. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is grab a whole chicken. This is about a three and a half pounder. Get it into a pot and cover it completely with water. Now, normally I break down the chicken just to make room for vegetables and aromatics, but we're not gonna use any of that today. I'm just gonna keep it simple. All right, we're gonna bring this water up to just below a simmer over high heat, then I'm gonna reduce the heat and cook the chicken for a couple of hours until the meat is just about falling off the bone. You see all this ugly stuff floating to the surface? Well, those are impurities, denatured proteins, and uh, they'll end up clouding your broth down the road. So just skim those off the surface and throw them out. All right, so this chicken's been in for about two and a half hours and it is pretty tender from what you can see here. So I'm gonna transfer it over to a baking dish and let it cool off just a little bit. And then I will uh, clean all the meat off the bones and we'll be good to go. Yeah, this looks good. Perfect. I'm gonna move this pot of delicious broth out of the way. And we'll grab some cast iron to pan roast our vegetables. I got this pan over medium, medium high heat and I'm gonna add two poblano peppers like that. Add a couple of jalapeno peppers. Uh, you can mix that up if you want to. i use serrano as well and had great results with them. Let's go ahead and add your tomatillos. I'm using uh, about a pound here. And I, what I've done is I've taken the husk off the, the outside of them and rinsed them off. But there you go. I'm also gonna add one whole onion that I've peeled and quartered. That's about a medium sized onion. And I don't care if it falls apart in the pan. I'm just trying to catch a little color here. And finally, five cloves of garlic, which I'll just spread out wherever there's room. There. Now just turn your vegetables over. Wow, look at that color. That's nice. Just turn them over as they, uh, they cook. They don't need to cook through entirely. They just need uh, to catch some color and soften up just a bit. Wow, yeah, these look, these look fantastic. Smells wonderful in here. All righty. I think we're, we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna pull all this veg off just for a second and let it cool off. I need to peel the garlic. In case you're wondering uh, why I kept the skins on this garlic here, it's simply because I didn't want the cloves to burn. I just wanted to give them a light roast in the pan and that skin helps protect the actual the flesh of the clove, so. Okay, we're gonna do a little switcheroo here. Uh, veg can cool down. Chicken is definitely ready to be pulled. So it's, uh, yeah, it's warm, but it's, I can handle it. I don't have much use for the skin or the bones anymore personally, so I end up just discarding them. But uh, try to grab as much of this meat as you can. You don't want any of it to go to waste. All right, there, I think that pretty much does it. All right, grab the meat and break up some of these larger pieces, especially those, those breast pieces, those tend to be a little larger. Uh, break them down, not too small, just, uh, just a little bit, maybe in half or in thirds. The stuff's gonna break down even more when it cooks with the chilies, the pureed chilies and the, uh, the broth and all that. So, all right, this looks good. Perfect. Put the chicken aside and grab our veg because we need to finish cleaning these guys up. I'm gonna start with the peppers. We need to de-seed them. Just cut the top off, pop out the seeds, remove any loose seeds like this. Just use your knife to scrape them out. Don't worry about removing the skin. Um, we're gonna leave that on. No need to remove that. All right, cool. Now we can uh, peel the skins off of each garlic clove. Notice how the skin uh, protected the clove really nicely from burning, but it gave it uh, kind of a slight, a slight cook. It's soft, kind of par-cooked. It's gonna lend a really nice flavor to our pasole. Last one, there. All good. Now we need to blitz all this veg. So uh, the best way to do that is with a blender, one of these guys. If you don't have one, a food processor works great. Um, you could also spend some time with a knife and break all the veg down that way. Totally up to you. 
use what you have. So off goes the top and I'm just gonna dump everything in. I'm not cutting anything down anymore. All the vegetable goes in. They all go in virtually whole here. All right, that's all of them. I'm also gonna add in um, about a half a bunch of cilantro. That's one cup loosely packed or about 18 grams. All right, I'm gonna start off on low speed. I'm gonna really ramp it up to liquefy it. There, that looks pretty darn good. Ah, smells fantastic too. Wow. All right, I'm back at the stove and I'm gonna add this puree to the chicken broth that we made earlier. Just going right in with it. Let me show you get it as much as you can out of the, uh, out of the blender. And we're gonna end up simmering this for about 20 to 30 minutes until the flavors have a chance to mingle. And then we'll move on to the, the next step. Yeah, there we go. All right, it's been about 25 minutes and I'm gonna add this uh, white hominy to the pot. This is canned hominy. I can't find the dry stuff in my area right now, but uh, if you can, if you can find dry hominy and cook it yourself, even better, man, even better. So uh, add that to the pot, continue to simmer everything for, uh, I don't know, another 15 minutes or so, and then we'll add our chicken and finish everything up. Whoa, almost forgot. Gotta add a half teaspoon of cumin and a half teaspoon of dried Mexican oregano. Did not wanna forget that. Just stir it in and continue to simmer. That's all you gotta do. I gotta say, this smells absolutely wonderful. I can't wait to dig in. So grab your chicken and go right in with all of it. Don't save any of it. Use it all in the pasole. Then go in with some salt, maybe a, a teaspoon or so. There, give it a quick stir. Just check the seasoning here. A little bit more. Boom, I think we're good. The pasole verde itself is ready to go, but it's very traditional to prepare a series of toppings to go with it. So I'm gonna whip those up real quick and then we'll finish things up with a taste test. All right, first I'm gonna shave a little radish here with my mandolin. All right, next up, I'm gonna slice up some green cabbage. This mandolin does a wonderful job of slicing things paper thin. There we go. Looks great. Now, I'm just gonna pick some cilantro leaves here. And then we'll start uh, ladling some, some sole into a bowl. All right, sweet. All set. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am for this. I'm gonna grab a bowl, all my goodies. Oh yeah. Fantastic. Now I'm just gonna go in with some of this cabbage. A few radishes. Yeah. It's good, just a little bit of uh, additional cilantro. More of a garnish than anything else. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado here. This, is, uh, this one's a little overripe, but we'll make it work. Just along the sides. Yeah, like that. And finally, just a little squeeze of lime. I'm ready to dig in. I've been waiting for this pretty much all day, so <laughs> I'm super excited. Mm. So good, so good. Hey, wait, I didn't get the avocado. Let me get some avocado. Mm. This is fantastic. It's like the perfect soup for any season. The tomatillo and the green chilies kind of make it bright and tangy. Um, 
it's especially with the fresh vegetables, uh, the cabbage and the radish and the avocado on top. It's like perfect for warmer weather, but the hominy and the chicken and the chicken broth make it super comforting. So, I, I mean, I could eat this pretty much any time of year. It's so good. Mm. Try this. Gotta try this. Anyways, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I, uh, I am, I'm totally into this soup. So um, I'm gonna check out. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give me a thumbs up. Hit me in the comments below if you have questions. And I'm just gonna sit here and crush this entire bowl. Catch you guys next time. Mm.